My name is Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learburg, and I want to preface this video that's being put in our social media that this specific video came out of a course, an online course that we produced and that we sell on Learburg.com. The course has over 204 videos, over uh, 20 hours of videotape in this course. This video you're about to watch came out of the course titled Dealing with Dominant and Aggressive Dogs. So if you have an interest in learning about that, go to Learburg.com, go to our university section, and you can read detailed notes about what's in the course. You can see a complete outline of the course. If you have an aggressive dog, our course is going to help you fix your problem. If not fix it, it's going to teach you how to manage your dog's problem. So this is a good question because I think a lot of people do this, and that is these folks had two dogs, uh, two adult dogs, and then they bought and brought into their family a new dog, a 15-month-old dog, and they have a dog fight as a result of it. But I'll read it, and then we're going to talk about how you introduce a new dog into a home with existing dogs. I'm new to your website, and I would like to know what you think about might help me. <clears throat> I own a three-year-old spayed female Catahoula. A three-year-old male German Shepherd has been both Czech and German police trained. Not sure what that means. Very obedient with my husband and listens to me when my husband is not around. I also recently purchased a female German Shepherd, 15 months old, for later breeding purposes. So far, I have had one dog fight, the two older dogs against the new one. I had to pick up a large stick and threaten the two older dogs to get them to stop. The dogs all live in the house, crated, not loose, that's good. And the fight happened when I was taking the new dog for a walk on our property. I want to prevent this from ever happening again. Any particular books or videos you can suggest would be a big help. The long and the short of this is, uh, I can't tell this lady that this female will now get along with the male or the, the Catahoula older dog. But I can tell you this, this is not how you introduce new dogs into a home. She's doing it good that she has three dog crates. But the way you introduce new dogs is I would put these two older dogs in a muzzle, both of them, and I would have them out on leash and on walks. And it wouldn't have to be on your property, but it could be on your property. As long as they were on leash and you could control the two dogs in muzzle and keep them off of this young dog. But this has been a traumatic experience for this young dog. You run the risk. And I'll tell people this. Once a dog has been attacked in a dog fight, they will usually be dog aggressive for the rest of their life. And if, I was, if these people did want to breed this dog and this male dog, I would cut the Catahoula out of the relationship. I would walk the male and the female together with the male being in muzzle for a long, long time. And when I mean a long time, I'm not talking a couple of weeks. I may not even be talking a couple of months. This could go on and on and on, and it could take six months or a year before you know whether it's going to happen. And even when the female gets in season, I would introduce the two of them when she is in season with the male in a muzzle because I wouldn't let him be aggressive to her. But I'm not sure you're gonna be able to get a breeding between the two. You might, and you might not. And you might, if you're gonna breed them, you're probably gonna have, have a muzzle on both of them. And it's probably, and should be, both people there at the same time. And you put them together, and you control them, and they can be dragging a leash, or you hold a leash, and if, if things don't happen, if nature doesn't take its course, then you put them away. And you might have to take them to the vet to get some health breeding. You might have to have this female artificially inseminated by your vet 
with live semen where he collects the male and inseminates the female. And I've done it hundreds of times. It's not a, I even have a video on how to do it. It's not a hard thing to do, but you have started off on the wrong foot. And I'm putting this in the course because people need to learn how to add a new dog into a home. And it's not putting them together and letting God sort it out because you're gonna have a fight like this on a large percentage of time. And those two dogs, even when they're on muzzle, uh, even when they're out and we're walking and we have Ed's walking stick with him and the two dogs are walking on leash in muzzle and the other dog is with them, if I felt I needed to stop them and they wouldn't leave the, the little one alone, I would convince them it was a very bad idea to try and jump on this little one and cause any problem at all. But the odds are on leash they wouldn't do that. But it's where I would start. And these dogs need exercise, so walk them a lot on leash. The dogs need some training. Use reward-based training and go back and redo your training. You're doing everything right so far, at least with these dog crates in the house. Only have one dog out at a time. Never have these two dogs or one of the two dogs out when the 15-month-old dog is out. The 15-month-old dog now needs to spend a lot of time with you alone in your house so that you develop a relationship with her. We have an excellent, excellent course. We did with our friend Michael Ellis on how to build a relationship with your dog. Get it, watch it 10 times. Take notes, go back and watch it again, and then do the things we talk about in that course. So, if you have any questions, go to the front of Learberg.com. Go to the Ask Cindy portal, and Cindy will answer your questions.